Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to a new episode of Music with Nick. Today, we got a new um, sponsor of a video, uh, a marathon I'll do. Uh, Marcelo, thank you so much. Uh, your first marathon ever on the channel. It's so nice to see, um, well, not really see, but to, to meet um, somebody new uh, that does a request. Um, I do appreciate it very much. Um, so let's give uh, Marcella a, uh, a warm welcome in the comment section. Um, I'm going to read off the tracks that we'll react to today. And uh, yeah, and we'll be on our way. So, but again, thanks so much everyone for watching. And of course you, Marcelo, for, you know, going that extra um, mile and, uh, you know, choosing a marathon and making the video happen. I do appreciate it. All right, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna start it off with a band that I'm da, that I'm familiar with. I've not heard, you know, enough to say that I really know them, but it's Riverside. I did own uh, the first album myself, so I was pretty much into that. You know, uh, it did remind me a lot of bands like a little bit like Tool, but with a little bit more solo work, guitar solos and stuff. But in the vein of like, let's say, Porcupine Tree or Stephen Wilson, you know, that's what what I got from from uh, Riverside. Also, we were gonna go see Riverside, uh, but something got in the way last year. Something got in the way this year. So I guess next year, if they come to Denver and they do come pretty much every year, we'll we'll go see them. So we're gonna do Riverside from the Love Fear. And the Time Machine album, this is from 2015, so this is way past when I started listening, listening to them, Lost and uh, Why I Should Be Frightened by a Hat um, from Riverside. Then we're going to uh, switch to Threshold, Sharing at the Sun. I'm oh, sorry, Staring at the Sun, Sharing at the Sun. Uh, staring at the Sun, this is from March of Progress, 2012. So already two... Um, songs from the 20s, um, from the 2000s, 2010s. Uh, then we're going to do Stomp that, um, let's see, give me one second, Stomp. This is from the, uh, this is from the band Moron, Moron Police, 2014, Defenders of the Small Yard. I like that title. And this is Stomp. The Goomba, Stomp the Goomba. Um, uh, no idea what the style of music is. Very intrigued. And then we're going to do Cross the Line from Voyager, Universe, um, the album 2007. So these are all 2000. And then we're going to do Alejandro Silva, the song 80, Dios Eol. So God Eol from, from 2002. I guess when it's a 2002, like, or like 2009, you don't say like 29. Like once we hit, I guess, you know, the 13s, uh, 2013, 2014. I don't know how it works. <laughs> it just sounds weird. 29. Yeah, you don't say that, I guess. Um. So here we go. Thank you so much, Marcelo. We're, we're getting into it. And uh, everybody else, enjoy. Have a lot of fun. Like the video if you want to, dislike it if you want to, subscribe if you want to, you know, it's all up to you, and enjoy, most, um, uh, you know, most of all, enjoy and have a good time, you know, I always get myself some coffee, you know, some water, you know, some popcorn, <laughs> and just enjoy the music, here we go with Riverside, have fun. I drop down again from a star on a desert island full of sky and I saw a boy looking up dreaming of his future from my past from Soon I drew an ocean 
tamed the sun and I plunged my feet into the sand bit by bit I came to understand how I missed this freedom and the swirsh of waves come follow me we go down where the river flows ah. beautiful one day just you and I would find the bridge to the very very subtle beautiful very calm bum i love that bum bum buddy dum bum bum buddy dum buddy you know when you know how to pause i've said this in many videos sometimes the silence the silent note is the one that ooh you know hits you the hardest really really cool very very beautiful singing um This band is very talented from Poland. I've always loved them, you know. Um, and, and now I love that they're getting a little bit more heavy and it kind of gives you that push into like a Celtic feel. Like that, I don't know. It sounded very Celtic there. Um, let's explore more. <laughs> That's what I miss sometimes when I listen to Tool, and I absolutely love Tool. Uh, but I think, as a guitar player, <laughs> as a guitar player, I do miss the lead guitar sometimes. 
it's not that important, but I do like it the way it's implemented here very, you know, calmly. It's just uh, an addition to the whole, maybe they're not soloing or anything. It's not necessary, but it just gives the song a touch of, I don't know, something that I really like about music. Um, and then I love this, these crunchy, like palm muted and then even when they were doing with the keyboard it's just like very much on the background you barely hear it i love it man what a great band i i can't believe we missed them twice but well it will happen eventually <laughs> you and i will find the bridge to the river. I love this patch that this uh, keyboard player is using. I, you can hear that a lot in uh, Derek Sherinian's the way when he solos, most of the time when he plays keyboards on Dream Theater, also in Planet X or Derek Sherinian like solo, uh, he uses that patch and it sounds very reminiscent of um, uh, Jan Hammer. John Jan Hammer. <laughs> um, he just uses that patch. Um, and it's uh, I think he's very inspired by Derek Sherinian's very inspired by by Jan um, from Mahavishnu Orchestra and Miami Vice and you know all this good stuff he has written. Um, but I don't know too much, so I just know I, I know a lot of Derek Sherinian, I do. Okay. Threshold, staring into the sun. Let's go with that one. I have no idea what this is, you know, what kind of style, but I mean, maybe if it's Riverside, of course, progressive rock. Uh, I wouldn't even call this metal. I mean, it's in the metal genre, but it's very light. I enjoy that about Riverside, that they're kind of like easygoing, you know. Let's go. There's no 
beautiful man beautiful solo and the whole um setup here is super cool i love it man so it reminds me a little bit of like um images and words you know the style very good that's a very positive thing because i love that album images and words awake um and i i do love dream theater after but i just have a very warm spot for that they just sounded different you know different um i really love how they sounded back then in the 90s um but uh this is a great band man this is high like high quality progressive metal like and i love the piano you know and then very cool distortion um i think a bit heavier than than i usually listen to i mean i do listen to very freaking heavy music but just when it comes to progressive metal i think i'm always like in the dream theater i guess symphony x is the heaviest because other bands like Enchant and stuff like that, um, Royal Hunt and yeah, I just like, I think just the distortion is very heavy here, but the singing is very calm and the instrumentation is great, man. Awesome. Let's keep going. <laughs> Awesome. Very cool. Thank you, man. I know a new band, you know, Threshold. I had no idea. Never heard of them. Awesome that you're, you know. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, Let me see. When are, since when have they been around? Let's see here real quick. Just for my. So first, the, the, the debut Wow, their covers are so good. 1999, very artistic, very cool, very original. I like that. Um, so yeah, they're they're already like you know, 24 years in the biz. You know, I love when I discover new bands. You know, through this channel, it's so cool. Um, okay, another new band which is Moron P Police. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing this correctly and then stomp a goomba here we go man let's go like the nintendo oh before
I love it, man. It's very progressive. You know, but the 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 um the vocalist does remind me a little bit of James Hetfield later on, like around like load and reload. That you know, um, after the Black album, he started to sing more, almost like a country version of James Hetfield. I think he was just going for that. And that's awesome. I mean, James Hetfield is a great vocalist and even more like he's an amazing guitar player. Like, I think one of the best rhythm guitar players in the metal business. Um, but yeah, I love his voice. And But also it reminds me a little of System of a Down, that, da -da 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 -da, that really fast um phrasing of the of the words really cool but yeah the music is really really cool really good really awesome man really great find thank you good very good F four bands that i'm meeting today like four new bands and a and a song from a band that i already knew man what a treat awesome thank you so much but i mean i this last month i mean the month the month of um march has just been so fruitful like so much music that has been thrown at me from different like eras and styles and oh my god i've been so lucky but it's also cool to get back into the metal you know because i was doing a lot of just um music that's just more you know not as yeah not as heavy i was doing more folk but you know i appreciate it all really you know i can't just say oh you know i'm a rocker and every but everything else you know i don't listen to no, no i i've learned to appreciate every style of music except um you know that um i don't know whatever's popular on the radio right now <laughs> i don't even consider that music i mean you you know the reggaeton and all that B bs you know it's just it's i can't do it you know it doesn't have any musical value to me i've talked about this so many times it's ridiculous but um okay let's get um let's move on to voyager and i did say the year 2007 really cool cover as well looks like this guy is like a pianist or like a keyboard player because the keyboard is stands out a lot here i wouldn't be surprised let's go
the line Never ever give a sign Never ever show that you're the weaker mind Never ever turn your back Never let me see you right Never ever 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 cross the line I know it well Another time, another line And we've crossed it, see you again I don't know respect after all That was a cool kind of like break that I could find to inject. Really cool. It sounds a little bit more commercial, you know, but it's, there's no, uh, I don't have a problem with it at all. Uh, it's very, very cool, like efficient playing. I just looked them up. I was like, are they from Germany or something? They're from Australia. Um, did it say Australia or Austria? I would be very, very wrong to get that wrong. <laughs> Let's see. No, they're from Western Australia, yeah. 1999, Perth. Wow, cool. Uh, never heard of them. I really like it. It sounds uh, a little bit more, you know, accessible, I think, for everyone. And that is, I think that's a good thing because if, uh, like, perfect example, the the video that I uploaded yesterday from uh, Ranjar Zombek, um people were like listen to it but they were like i don't even know what to comment you know there, I, there was like three comments after hundreds of people listening to it they don't know what to do with it because it's it's just too much you know but i i, I enjoy it very much and I, I wanted to share it i would have loved to get some feedback but people are just like i don't even know what to say you know but it's because it's not that it's bad it's just so out there you know it's very very much and this if I would post something like this, I would get a lot of comments because it would be like, hey, this is something I could actually listen to, you know. So, yeah, I get it, you know. So, yeah, so kudos. Kudos to this. Let's continue. Never ever give a sign Never ever show That's your weaker mind Never ever turn your back 
beautiful. It reminded me there is uh, for a section of Phantom of the Opera that really nice piano playing. I just looked them up and they were um they won best album for Independent Music Award um in 20 2020 for uh Colors of the S in the Sun. And uh the other band that we listened to More and Police they were also nominated. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So they're, I guess, the same genre, you know? It's really cool. It is just, like, very accessible prog uh, pro prog rock, you know? Prog metal. Um, really cool, man. I really do like it. Now, we're going to go with something. I don't know if this is in Spanish. Well, let's see. This is Alejandro Silva, Dios Eol. Um, let's check it out. The song is called 80, and this is from also 2002, I said. Okay, here we go.
so he went back to the theme yeah this is literally um where was this you know i that's the thing when I, when i was living in in mexico we had like a limited resource of shredders and uh but it was good i mean that's where i learned my scales you know i, I mean as we can hear he's using a lot of melodic minor scales the um arpeggios you know and uh, sweep picking and all that good stuff that I love to do you know I still to this day of course practice my scales and my stuff and my picking and um, mostly I do a lot of legato playing right uh, now I don't know I just kind of like switched from Aldi Miola to Alan Holdsworth but this um, reminds me of course you know it has a lot of I think it reminds me very much of uh, Michelangelo, but it has, of course, a lot of Ingwie Malmsteen, Benny Moore, you know, Tony Tony McAlpine, um, early Greg Howe before he went into the jazz fusion direction, um, uh, Paul Gilbert, um, I think a little bit of Marty Friedman, although Marty Friedman is so different, but he did play in uh, Cacophony, so cacophony um yeah jason becker all these great shredders you know from the 80s and 90s and he has a down he sounds so clean i love shredding but only when it's clean like this you know it's like mwah, beautiful chef's chef's kiss this guy's amazing and i love that he changes it up you know it's like heavy then it's a little bit proggy then he has his nice slow solo then he goes into full shred mode very nice themes here very melodic, very neoclassical. I love that. And now he's going back to the beginning where he started, which is, a, you know, really cool. I love, I mean, Alejandro, whew, he's a good, like good guitar player. I mean, at this stage, when you play like this, you can basically play everything, you know, that's so cool. <laughs> Man, this was awesome. I mean, everything that I like about instrumental music and guitar shredding, you know, is in this tune, like beautiful, but also layered out. It's not just like, you know, it's, it has its variety. It has, you know, it's thought out very, very nicely. You know, it's like you don't get tired of it. Um, it has its, you know, uh, power metal drums the double you know the double bass and uh, I think it's a very good composition I mean I mean a lot of players would be like yeah you know like a lot of the 80s players who used to who invented this style basically um, would be like this is good you know um, I did hear a lot of influences and man that's just the way it is you know in 20 years they'll still be playing this kind of music and i'll still be listening to it you know it's like it's timeless i love uh instrumental um music very very much um but hey 
Thank you so much, Rosella. This was a great selection of tunes. Um, thank you so much. I hope everybody else enjoyed. Let me know which one, which was your favorite, which band did you know, which is completely new. That's the cool thing about the channel that I pretty much, you know, Alexa and I, we do any kind of music. So there's always a, a surprise, you know. We do very old stuff that everybody knows, but then sometimes along comes... Um, you know, someone like Marcelo says, hey, I'm going to throw like two least new stuff at you because I've never heard it on the channel. And that really brings more, you know, variety uh, to the channel. So I do thank you very much for that. Thank you, guys. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.